Hello everyone, Sun and Shiny Plays here, and today I'm gonna be doing something different. I've been doing a lot of Pokemon guides, but I figured I do more than just Pokemon guides. I do battles, even though most of them are not recorded. So I got together three of my favorite battles I have ever done on Pokemon Showdown. First one, it's gonna be this one. No real theme, just wanted to go into national decks and bring some of my favorite Pokemon. So we start off with Shiftry, and then Azumarill comes in, and I go for the Bullet Seed. This set was actually inspired by one of my best f friends on YouTube, uh, Poke Trainer Joshi. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Anyways, I go this is a King's Rock set with Bullet Seed, Beat Up, Fake Out, and Knock Off. And let me just pause it real quick so that way I can explain what's happened. So in this set, King's Rock and Bullet Seed work together so that way you can have a chance to flinch your opponent. Not as much as para flinching with Togekiss, but it works. And the Azumarill does go for the Z Belly Drum, which does boost its attack by four stages, but when I'm going for the Bullet Seed, I sadly don't take it out, nor do I get to flinch, and Play Rough just takes me down. So I bring Miss Magius, it goes for the Aqua Jet, and I have him Focus Sash, use Destiny to take me down. I use Shadow Ball, in case I did outspeed, and then Destiny Ball again, which is enough to take down Beware, which, yeah, that was a problem. I burn Mill Tank against the Uniqueless, and I go for the Attract. Yes, this set is kind of like Whitney's, because I just love Whitney, and I love Mill Tank. I go for the Milk Drink to heal up. It goes for into Golurk, and I go for Body Slam. I used to have Scrappy on this thing, but I believe I took it off just because. So I expect, like, a fighting move. So I go into Simipore. He goes into Gol... Chandelure, I go for Scald. Now this is a choice spec set. He goes into Aerodactyl. He goes for Stone Edge at Mega. And gets taken down by Semipore. And then he just lost to inactivity. So yeah, that was a battle. If I can explain the sets, uh the Electros, which is my ace, is a blunder policy set with Zap Cannon, Miss Magius, Focus Sash, Levitate. I mean, levitate. Focus Sash, Destiny Bond. Since we're gonna be outspeeding lots of things, it's good just in case. Shift Tree, I already went over. Milk Tank. This was supposed to be extremely bulky and do a lot of damage. Attract just to cause some shenanigans. Milk Drink to heal. Body Slam because Whitney. And Brick Break to take care of Dark types and or Steel types. And then there's Gudra which was Chesto Resto with Curse. Curse, Rest, Breaking Swipe as our main stab, and Earthquake just to deal with Steel types. So yeah, that was our very first battle. And I gotta say, I was not expecting a win. His team was scary, really. Shindalore, Mega Aerodactyl, which is just frightening, and then there's Golurk, which is bulky and hits hard. Anyways, on to the next video, I mean battle, this is one I actually did today. Now, there's a YouTuber that I watched called Fufu2, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. And he does this little mini-series where he takes a Pokemon that has been overlooked and points out all the buffs it got in a certain generation. So, what I did is I took six Pokemon that got buffs that he did a video on, put them into a team, and this is the battle that we had. I start off with Victory Bell, and he starts off with Tapu Koko. I assume that he's going to be going into Excadrill, so I don't Poison Jab. But he goes into Togekiss instead, and I just go for the knockoff. Which does knock off its Choice Scarf, which is definitely going to be handy. He goes for the Air Slash as I switch out into Lunatone, so that way I can take something. It reveals the Shadow Ball, but I go for the Rock Polish. 
and an ice beam takes it down. I probably should put a uh, power gem on here. Anyways, he brings in Cloyster. I go for Earth Power. Sadly, not enough to take it down, and it goes for Shell Smash. Scary, scary. So I go into Ariados, and go for the Sucker Punch. And I gotta say, that probably saved me. Volcarona comes in. It goes for the Quiver Dance. I go for the Sticky Webs. It goes for another quick, Quicker Dance, Quiver Dance. I go for the Poison Jab. Goes for the Fiery Dance. And instead of Sucker Punching, I just sack off Ariados. Swana comes in, and it gets Aqua Jet now. So that's a one take. And that takes down the great and powerful Volcarona. Out comes Tapu Koko. I go for the Hydro Vortex Boosted Liquidation. It doesn't KO. If I was adamant, it had a chance to. But it reveals its own Z move, and that takes down Swana. My cargo comes in. And Wild Charge. Now, let me just pause it real quick. I'm pretty sure that if Tabu Koko went for any other move, I would have lost. Because Magcargo, even with plus two speed, is not fast enough to outspeed an Excadrill or a Charizard. So it goes down. I go for the Shell Smash, giving me plus. 4 speed. Brings in Charizard, Mega Charizard, but I go for the Ancient Power, and that is a critical hit one shot. And finally, in comes the Excadrill, and it just gets Earth Power through the face and gets obliterated. So, yeah, that was a fun battle. Swana was Water MZ with Aqua Jet, Liquidation, Brave Bird, and Defog. Uh, Victory Bell was a Choice Band with Leech Life. Power Whips, Poison Jab, and Knock Off. Mad Cargo, Focus Sash, sh Shell Smash, Ancient Power, Earth Power, and uh, Flame Thrower. Lunatone was Life Orb with Rock Polish, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Psy Shock. Aria Dose was Sucker Punch, Sticky Web, Poison Jab, and I believe I put on Mega Horn, but I could be wrong and find. Finally, Chimico, which was recovered, Defog, Healing Wish, and Psychic with leftovers. And finally, we have one more battle. Th uh, this one, OU. I just decided to bring in six of my favorite Pokemon, and it actually ended up working pretty well. What was that? Okay. Hey, sorry about that. It accidentally closed on me. So now let the battle begin. I bring in Rose Raid. He starts off with Shuckle. I go for the Sleep Powder. And yeah, I go into Spydro. My f my Inteleon. He goes into the Sigiwai. I just go for the Swords Dance because it gets Swords Dance. And then I go for the Icicle Spear. Which is enough to take down the Decidueye, which is good. Next up is Boltund. I go into Claydol, expecting a Thunder Fang. Or as I call it, Seymour. But it goes for the Crunch. Activates our weakness policy. I go for the Rapid Spin to boost our speed. And then Sword Power. It goes into Dragapult. Sucker Punch definitely takes me down. Go into Spydro once more, go for the Sucker Punch, but sadly it goes for the Dragon Dance. So, yeah, that's a problem on my hands. I go into Cake Waifu, and just hope I can survive a Phantom Force, which I do, and go for the Draining Kiss, which Oko's. Okay, Age Slash comes in, I don't want to deal with it, I go into Frog It. It goes for the Swords Dance, and I go into Lavender. It goes for the Shadow Ball, which does not take me down. I completely forgot about the Shuckle, because it's a Shuckle. And I go into Bacon Bug, with Rose Red going down. 
It goes for the Shadow Ball. And, you've, and I also gotta say, Swords Dance Shadow Ball. Bravo. And I go for the Fire Lash after one coil. He goes into Charizard. Air Slash. Takes me down. Cake Waifu comes back in. I go. F he goes for the Flamethrower. I go for the Psy Shock. And Cake Waifu comes in clutch. It gets the burn, but takes down the Charizard. And finally, Shuckle comes in. And I just go for the Psy Shock because, as I'll tell you later, this is a. Uh, and finally, here comes Froggit. I go for the Cross Chop. Which activates the Agave Berry. It goes for the Iron Defense. And it's GG. Now, it sets for this time where. This is before Sniper was released. And Teleon with Life Orb, Swords Dance, Icicle Spear, Sucker Punch, and Liquidation. Cake Waifu Valkrimi with Draining Kiss, Psy Shock, Mystical Fire, and uh, I believe Giga Drain or Energy Ball, one of those two. Bacon Bug with Vicenta Scorch with Coil, Fire Lash, Power Whip, and Leech Life with the Heavy Duty Boots. Lavender with the uh, Blunder Policy with Sleep Powder, Extra Sensory. Leaf Storm and Sludge Bomb. Seymour of uh, Claydol with Rapid Spin, Sword Power, Earth Power, and I believe I put Cosmic Power on there. And finally, Froggit the Toxic Crook with Cross Chop, Bullet Punch, Poison Jab, and I forget what the last move was. I think it was Ice Punch. So yeah, those were three battles that I had. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Peace.